Welcome to our lecture online. The next thing we need to review is how much work is done by putting some charges close together or what will be the ultimate total potential energy of the system after some charges have been placed together. Now obviously when you take two positive charges and you bring them close together that requires work because they repel each other and so potential energy goes up. But if you bring a negative charge close to a positive charge, well, they want to be together, and so that brings the potential energy down because it takes negative work to put a positive and negative charge close together. So let's say well, there's three charges we're going to bring together, and we need to do this one step at a time. So we need to take it one charge at a time. How much energy does it take to put the first charge there, then to put the second charge there, and then to put the third charge there? Now before we do that, let's review that the voltage is defined as the work it takes to put a charge somewhere divided by the size of the charge, or in other words, the potential energy formed or made by putting a charge there divided by the charge. So when we solve this for potential energy, it's simply equal to the voltage times the charge. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our first charge and place it here. Now before we place the first charge there, the 8 microcoulomb charge there, there are no charges present at all, so there's no voltage at that location. So therefore the energy that it takes to put that charge there is simply the voltage at that location before you put the charge there times the charge. And since there's zero voltage there, it takes zero joules or zero work to put that charge over there. But now we're going to place a second charge at this location. So what we need to do now is calculate the voltage at that location due to the presence of all the charges that are there already. Now in this case there's only one here, so we must calculate the voltage over here, call it V2, due to the presence of Q1. So the voltage there is simply KQ1 over the distance between the two, so that's K times the charge divided by the distance, or 18,000 volts. So right now we have 18,000 volts at this location due to the presence of charge number one. And so now we're going to place charge number two there. There we go. And so now we have to calculate the work it takes to put it there. So the work it takes to put it there, the potential energy, is the voltage at that location times the charge we place there. 18,000 volts times the 6 microcoulomb charge is 0.108 joules. So that's how much energy, that's how much work it took to place the second charge there. Now we're going to place the third charge over here. So we first need to cal calculate the voltage at that location due to the presence of these two charges now. So the voltage is going to be the voltage of the first charge, which is K times the charge divided by the distance. In this case, it's only three meters to there. And then we take the second charge, so K times the second charge in the corner there, divided by this distance, which is five meters diagonally. And so that is 24,000 volts for the first charge, 10,800 volts for the second charge. So a total of 34,800 volts at this location, 34,800 volts, due to the presence of these two charges. Now we're going to take a third charge and put it over here. In this case, that third charge is going to be a negative charge. So, how much work did that take? Well, what we do is we take the voltage at that location, multiply times the third charge, so the voltage times the third charge, and we get a minus 0.348 joules. Negative because it's a negative charge we're putting in a location where there's a positive voltage. So now to get the total potential energy of the whole system, we simply add the three together. Potential energy one, potential energy two, and potential energy three right here. So it's zero plus 0.108 minus 0.348. So we're left with a negative 0.24 joules of energy in the system by bringing those three charges at those three locations. And that is how it's done.